Hey y'all, I'm Justina, the Gorgeous Oracle, and I'm back with another reading. This is a random read. Whatever resonates with your situation, um, apply it to where it fit. Um, from what I'm getting, this could be a divine feminine or divine masculine situation, a karmic situation. But like I said, whatever resonates with your situation, feel free to, you know, if the shoe fits, wear it, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm just in Nicole, the gorgeous oracle, back with another reading. If my reading resonates with your situation, um, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole. Everything will be down in the description box down below. So, collective, what I have, I have the moon card. I have temperance. First, the Knight of Wands in reverse came out. And I clarified that with the Six of Wands in reverse. I don't want to can you see. Then I have the Tower. And then I have the Knight of Swords. For the additional messages, I have love. I have runner. Yeah, my nails are broke. I broke one, two, three. I broke the four nails. I had went out of town to Atlanta over the weekend and I had a blast, okay? I have the snake. I have karmic relationship and I have soulmates. Yeah, this can actually be a divine masculine reading, but I just ask spirit to give me messages. Um, but uh, this for sure, I'm picking up on a masculine. So, your person collective. I feel like your person, or it could be a divine masculine. I feel like this person was keeping secrets. I feel like this person was hiding things from their friends, their family, the public. I feel like on the surface, they were portrayed like they this big honcho person. They a player. They do what the fuck they want to do. Can't nobody tell them nothing. But below, below the surface, this person is not actually like that. I'm hearing facade. I'm hearing fake. I feel like this person has been living a, a double, I'm hearing double life. But when I say double life, I'm not referring to as in this person has like multiple families or in multiple relationships. This person has been living a double life. Like when they around people, they are actually, they act one way. And then when they by themselves or when they at home, they act like them true selves, a persona. I'm hearing actor. Like this person is a good actor. Another message I'm hearing in front of people, family and friends, this person could be saying like they don't fuck with you, they don't like you, they not in love with you, you're not they type. But really deep down you are.
But I feel like this person is actually getting tired of living this two-faced life. I feel like this person, it's like it's getting old to them or it's becoming overwhelming not being their actually true self. I'm hearing authentic self. I feel like this person is tired of faking and shaking for other people. This person is tired of keeping up with this false image that they created. And I feel like now they want to be more balanced, stable. They want to just be them authentic selves. They want to just dress however they want to dress. They want to be comfortable. I feel like this person, yeah, it has something to do with image. You know, like they dress a certain way, act a certain way. They do all types of things to fit in with other people. But I feel like this person, I'm hearing awakening. I feel like this person just want to be them true, authentic selves. They tired of living a lie. They tired of doing things that really don't serve them. And they just want to have balance and stability and security in their life. I feel like that's the secret. The secret is this person, I'm hearing like keeping up with the Joneses. They don't care about what's going on with other people. They don't care about keeping up with the Joneses. But I feel like in front of people, they like I said, I they dress a certain way, look a certain way. But the secret is deep down, they don't care for none of this shit that they been doing. I feel like this person, not only this person been keeping secrets about how they actually feel towards people, places, things, family and friends, but another secret is they don't, I feel like this person is with a female This could be a, a fire sign or this person, the person that they, they're with is like fiery. They got some type of fire in a chart. I feel like one of the secrets is they don't care for the things they've been doing and they don't care for this person that they're with. I feel like since this person is going through a awakening or they looking at life in general through a, a different perspective they looking at people places and things they looking at themselves from a different perspective they don't care now they don't care for this knight of wands this woman that they were with i feel like um this woman used to do things for this masculine. I feel like she used to do things. She used to plan on how to keep him. Or she used to plan on, okay, I'm going to tell him to come to my house. But I'm going to tell him that um I need help because the, the, the kitchen sink is stopped up. I'm using that for example. So I feel like this person, this woman, used to always come up with excuses on why the masculine needs to come to her house or needs to be with her. Like... She, like, for example, she could have, like, she can flat her own tires, stab her own tires, and then she will call this, this dude to come change the tire for her. And I feel like 
now since this masculine person this could be a divine masculine this could be the karmic but like i said i just asked for a random read i didn't you know specifically say what's going on with the divine masculine what's going on with the karmic but this could be for them but i feel like in the past and like now currently this person um will do things or like sabotage her own self like i said like slice her own stab her own tires or um it's something wrong with the toilet it's not fleshy can you come over and look at it you know she will like do things for this dude to come over just to be in her presence but I feel like now, since this person is looking at life differently and they want like a change and they tired of how they've been living, they actually tired of this bitch too. And I feel like usually when this person, when this female used to come up with like ideas and things so this masculine can come over and, and like help her. I feel like now he's not doing it because this not a once is in reverse and it's six of ones in reverse. This is the victory card. So I feel like in the past, it would be a victory for her because she would lie and say, you know, um, something didn't happen. I need you to come over where you at. And this person, this masculine would stop what he's doing to come help her. But I feel like now since he's going through this awakening, all, everything she plot and plan on how to have this masculine in her life, it's not going as planned and then it's not a victory for her. And with that being said, it's going to cause a tower moment. The tower card, the t when I see a tower, to me, it's like a, a reality check. So I feel like by this masculine, by this dude, um, not fucking with this person this could be a karmic or whoever your person was with and they stopped dealing with you for this fire sign i feel like they stopped like being um like being there for this fire sign And since they stopped doing what they normally would do, it caused a tower moment between these two people. It was like a reality check. I feel like <clears throat> this could be a karmic. This person, I feel like in her brain, she always felt she had everything under control because the divine masculine or this, this masculine person that I'm picking up he used to always run to her, run whenever she need him. But I feel like now he's like standing up for himself. Standing up for himself and like trying to remove himself from people, places, and things that he know that don't serve him anymore. And I feel like by him removing himself from this situation it caused a tower moment for this female i feel like the reason why it caused a tower moment because he's looking at her different he's looking at his family friends the people around him differently and by him looking at these people differently He wants to come forward to you, collective, or divine feminine. The outcome, he's coming forward. Um, If you don't hear from your divine masculine or from this masculine person, either he's coming forward to you or he's leaving his past life behind. That's the second message I'm getting. So if you don't hear from this this person, your ex, this divine masculine, this person you've been in separation from, if you don't hear from him, then this means he's leaving 
all this behind. He's running away from shit, what he created. He created this a false persona. He created this stupid bitch. I feel like the when she used to lie and say she need help and need him to come help her with stuff, I feel like she picked up that habit from him. He would always call this person when he needs something. So I feel like she picked that up from him. So she will call him when she needs something. But really and truly, she really don't need that need anything. She would create like she would create mess or you know, just create like, oh, something happened with my car. I need you to come look at it. And then this this person, this the bi-masculine, will run and check it out. But that's because she created it. But anyway, she will pick she picked up his bad habits. So he's leaving all this behind. And it's a possibility that he's coming to the divine feminine or to you. Because this is out here with soulmates. He's running to his soulmate, the person he's supposed to be with. So for the additional messages, I have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. I feel like with this awakening, he's trying to establish like a healthy, um, unconditional love within himself, within his divine partner, the divine feminine, his soul, his real soulmate, not this stupid bitch. I feel like he have an attraction for somebody else for something else not like how he been living i have the runner runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy fit, listening to ego this this runner car is screaming to me he will run when this person when this fire sign female or it don't have to be a fire sign but when this female will need him he will run to her rescue and then that's with the snake. It's a competition, enemy, clever, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So I feel like the real secret is, this is another message. The real secret is, this woman he left you for, this karmic, this bitch has always been the other woman. That's the real secret. But he painted this picture, this facade, and telling everybody, you know, this is his girlfriend. This who he, he's supposed to be with. This who he's supposed to marry. But I feel like the real secret is this bitch is, has always been the other woman. And he had everybody thinking, like, you know, she's the main chick, his girlfriend, his fiance. He loved this person. But really, that was a lie. This is a secret. That's what don't nobody know. It's a snake, competition, enemy. This person has always been the enemy. <laughs> this person, it's a the other woman. This person, this fire sound bitch. Or this bitch he left you for has always been the other woman. Has always been in competition with you. And that's what, another message I'm getting. This six of wands is my victory card. So, I feel like this person is to be in competition with you. And the things she used to plot to keep this divine masculine from you. Or to keep this male from you. In the past, they used to work. In the past, it, it worked. But I feel like now, it's nothing she can do anymore. It's not working for her. It's like karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. I feel like this is the divine masculine, this masculine. He's looking at this female. He's looking at things so differently now to where... He realized like he's not supposed to be in this connection with this female no more. 
And then last but not least, I have soulmates. It's a soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. I feel like the divine masculine is running to his soulmate. Or this masculine is running about to come forward to his soulmate. I feel like he's been thinking about you, thinking about how he fucked up, thinking about everything he done. I'm hearing owe oh, you an apology. But yeah, this person is like tired of his old lifestyle and tired of people. They want something, I'm hearing want something new, want something different. But that's what I got for this reading collective. Thank you. Bye-bye.